is like a, my new favorite go-to drink at Starbucks. Hands down. So good and so pretty. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited because I am going to be doing a life beauty hacks slash lazy girl guide to makeup kind of video and I'm so excited. It's kind of funny because as I was writing down all of these hacks, all of these things that I do, I'm like, hmm, I do this every single day. I don't think I'm like phenomenal at makeup by any means. To watch other gurus do their makeup, I'm like, oh dang, they do a lot. Like, they take a long time and like, that's just not me right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want any more kind of hack videos or like lazy girl guy to fill in the blank here, tell me in the comments below. I would love to do it for you guys. And, sorry, I like, my hair got stuck on my lash because you know, they're growing. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future uploads. If you have any other video requests, then go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And check out the description because there's a lot of information going on. I have some coupon codes for like random things and all of my social media is down there as well. So go ahead and check that out. And like low key, I actually loved filming this because I started off with really no makeup as a warning. And now it's all done. And now I can go film like another video or something. So this is awesome. So I hope you guys enjoy and let me know if you do. And let's just kick it right into the lazy girl guide slash hacks video okay so dry shampoo is constantly your friend this is my favorite it's from Batiste and I use this every single day even if I just got out of the shower I use it I can go three days without washing my hair using this stuff it just gives you extra volume, makes your hair look clean. I absolutely love it and use it daily. I seriously can't even tell you how many bottles of this I have gone through. I use it all the time. If you're too lazy to take off your makeup at the end of the night, then make sure to get yourself some cleansing wipes or cleansing water. You still want to get that makeup off and with this trick, a few swipes and you will be good to go. But I will remember when I, when I met you in the summer. So if you plan on plucking your eyebrows, then this is the tip for you. So what I would suggest is using some Vaseline to keep those bad boys in place. Sometimes it can get a little pluck happy, you can just keep going at it, and next thing you know, you just overdid it. So the Vaseline will make sure to keep your eyebrows in place and shaped how you want them. And you can find the out of place hairs and pluck for a nice clean look. So even if you're planning on having a no makeup day, make sure to still curl those lashes. You can even apply some heat to the curler, that way they look a little bit longer, but this will just make you look more awake. Merlot in that wine glass, she dope as hell from Jersey, baby. White girl with the curves are crazy and she up all night. And if you're looking for one step further, then go ahead and apply some of your favorite black mascara. I love the L'Oreal Infallible Waterproof. It is my go-to favorite mascara of any time. And this is just really going to open your eyes, make you seem like you spent some effort on yourself, and looks like you're ready to take on your day. And I came to your town. So this next hack for me really saves a lot of time. I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to perfect my wing eyeliner and I think I finally found the trick. So I use a liquid eyeliner, a felt tip pen, and I line up the pen from the edge of my nose to the outside of my eye. Where the line falls is where the wing should lie. And what I do is I take the felt tip marker and I press it against my eyelid. And what this will do is just create a line for you as kind of a base and a guide for where your wing should fall. I just connect the wing and I fill in the eyeliner just how I normally would. And I swear this saves so much time, so much effort, and it looks great. So here I'm just going to use the same hack to do my winged eyeliner. This one is a little bit higher, but that's okay. Um, I went in and filled in the other eye a little bit more. And I use the same hack to line it up from the edge or the bottom of my nose to the outside of my eye. 
and um, filled in the rest of my mascara and this is the finished eye look that it gave me. Some people spend so much time doing their eyebrows and I just don't have time for that. So this hack is super quick, super easy. I use a spoolie to shape my brows and get all those hairs in place. And then I use a clear mascara. I use the one from Maybelline and I just put them in place. This is just going to make sure that they don't move throughout my day and it adds no color. You can't see it. It's clear and I've been using this trick for so long and I absolutely love it and it takes all of 30 seconds to do. You know, everybody has those days when you just don't know what kind of eyeshadow, what color to do, or what you want to do with your eyes. And on these days, I take my bronzer and just throw it in the crease. And surprisingly, I get compliments when I do this. Now obviously, choose your bronzer accordingly with your skin tone. You don't want it to be super dark um, since you're throwing it in your crease. But just take a blending brush and go ahead and pop it in there. It's also easy to do after you've done all of your makeup and once your eyeliner and mascara are done. If it ends up looking harsh, just go ahead and keep on blending and it will smooth out and look great. And on these days, I also like to take some kind of lighter eyeshadow or highlight and just pop it in my inner crease or inner corner of the eyes. And this just makes me look more awake and looks like I spent time really thinking about what I wanted to do and putting myself together when I didn't. Are you uncomfortable with lipstick or glosses that add a lot of color? Well, so am I. And what I would do on these days is I take a lip balm and put it on my lips and then I get a lip liner color that I'm comfortable with and just go ahead and outline my lips and fill them in. And I know this is kind of frowned upon and like not what usually people do, but this is all I do to my lips ever. I'm really not a big lipstick person and I love that this adds just a hint of color. I can control how intense the color looks on my lips and I absolutely love doing this. So that is it for my hacks video. I hope you enjoyed and until next time, bye!